Sergeant Williams, it's Sergeant Rivera. Hello, Sergeant Rivera. I've asked you here so we can go over your NCOER before we digitally sign it. Come on in and have a seat at the table. So, how have you and your wife been doing? We've been fine, Sergeant. Just keeping busy on weekends. We've been doing a lot of hiking and mountain biking lately. Sounds like fun. I wish I had the time to get out and do some recreational things. We keep busy with the kids, always one of them to or from a soccer practice or games. Seems like all our off-duty time is consumed by catering to the kids. <laughs> That's funny, Sergeant. We don't have that problem just yet, but we decided that next year is going to be the year to try for our first baby. That's great. I wish you the best. So, let's get to business. First, I'd like you to take a look at the front of the NCOER and verify that all the admin data in Part 1 is correct. Verify your name, social security number, and email address. Also make sure your date of rank is correct. Looks good, Sergeant. Great. Now let's discuss how I have rated you for your performance over the last year. As you can see in Part 4, I have rated you all yeses on the Army Corps values. I feel that you've embraced the values and demonstrated them well. Thank you, Sergeant. I appreciate that. No problem. Now let's look over the back. As you can see, in the competence block, I rated you excellent. I feel you are one of the most proficient NCOs in the platoon when it comes to MOS competency. You have displayed a lot of discipline by completing 18 college credit hours. It shows that you can effectively balance work in your personal life, demonstrating good time management skills. Thank you, Sergeant. That really means a lot. It wasn't easy, but I know how important civilian education is, and I really need to keep pursuing a degree. No worries, you get what you earn. Now, in physical fitness, I rated you as excellence. I really thought you did an exceptional job in this area over the last rated period. Your APFT score improved 15 points, and you are able to earn the Army's Physical Fitness Excellence Badge. That says a lot about you and your dedication to your own improvement. Additionally, your soldier's APFT average improved by 23 points since the last record APFT, that not only shows your personal commitment, but it also shows the commitment you have to your soldier's personal fitness levels. Thank you, Sergeant. I really was on a mission to prove to myself that I could do it. Once my soldiers saw me making improvements, they put in the extra effort to keep up with me. That's good, and that leads us to the leadership portion. You have provided outstanding leadership to your soldiers by leading by example. Now you can really see how, when you set the bar by doing it yourself, your soldiers will follow in your footsteps. I really did see that in the past six months or so. I encouraged my soldiers to emulate what I was doing and made it like a challenge to them. They all stepped it up and gave it the extra effort in almost everything we did. That's what good leadership looks like, and that's why you received another excellence. While I'm on the subject of excellence, let me take a minute to explain something to you. As you can see, all the excellence blocks you've received have been substantiated by bullet comments which reinforce the excellence block. When you are writing an NCOER, it is important to be honest and not inflate someone's performance. If you just mark an excellence block, but don't back it up with bullet comments to show how the individual earned that rating, it could hurt them in several different ways. One of those ways would be that the rated individual would not learn what their shortcomings are, and they would not be able to develop correctly. Another way would be at the promotion board. Board members are experienced enough to pick out fluff. And if they see fluff in an evaluation, it's very possible they may think the rest of the evaluation is inflated as well, hurting the individual's chances of being promoted. Oh, I see, Sergeant. I didn't realize that. A lot of soldiers don't realize that. Okay, moving on. In training, you received an excellence block because you were able to bring out the best in your squad as shown by the fact that two of your soldiers won Soldier of the Month boards and one soldier won Brigade Soldier of the Quarter. No argument here. Now, for accountability, you received a success. You met the standards expected of you in this area by maintaining good accountability in your squad. Property accountability is a difficult area in which to earn an excellence rating. Maintaining accountability is part of your job description, so an excellence rating requires something extra, such as contributing to the platoon or company's property accountability effort. I understand, Sergeant. All right, Sergeant Rivera, do you have any questions for me? No, Sergeant. You had a good year, but I don't want you to stop improving. Take what you learned last year and build on it to have an even better year. I would also like to see an excellence in accountability next time. Servicing and turning in all your excess equipment would be a good start. We can also discuss other ways in your quarterly counseling meetings. I will, Sergeant. You can count on that.
Great. The platoon leader wants to see you this afternoon, immediately after lunch, to go over the senior raider portion with you. Roger, Sergeant. Too easy. All right, Sergeant Rivera. After you and the platoon leader are done, we will digitally sign your NCOER, so you should be expecting to receive it tomorrow sometime for your signature. All right, Sergeant. Have a good day, and give my best to Maria. Wilco, Sergeant. Same to you.